with another new video today's video is very special for those people who never wanted to root their devices actually without root how we can install a viper for android in redmi 7 actually this is not only for redmi 7 you guys can install this um any android 13 rom uh, which is supporting kernel su and if your device is rooted with magisk then of course you are ready to go already and if your kernel is support kernel issue then without root you can use that great thing okay first of all install your kernel which support is kernel issue gki then you have to install kernel su okay let me find it where is that here is the kernel sorry here is the kernel issue the latest one which is 6.7 one. okay let me open this and here it is working and this is the latest version so we are good to go now wow how we can install how we can install any module in kernel issue just go here and you guys will get the user interface like magisk just click on that plus install button and then select file manager and then navigate to the folder you have stored files so vip4 here is the viper for android here is the file okay select that one and click on ok and it's flashing okay let it be done when you are done just get back don't need to reboot right now you can reboot later and we have to provide permission manually in kernel issue remember that thing we have all we have to provide permission always manually and which is viper i we have to install that first and then we can uh, get back okay the kernel is used here And then another thing which is the apk file when you are done then install the apk file okay this is done don't open right now reboot your device so device finally booted now find out kernel issue open kernel issue application and go to super user okay and now find viper here is the viper okay now super user right provide permission okay we are done now get back and remember one thing when uh, you reboot your device every time after rebooting you have to provide that permission manually okay remember that thing okay find out the viper right now the user interface is really good right now and we have another thing which is uh, 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 monitor supported actually yes this is monitor supported right now you can change this later from settings so allowing viper for android fx to always run in the background and may reduce battery life okay if you don't need you can deny this and everything is here which you need you guys can enable and this is totally monitor supported and according to my wallpaper okay master limiter and viper ddc which you need you guys can enable and spectrum and if i equalizer and fill we have settings legacy mode must uh, if it doesn't work then you have to enable legacy mode remember that thing change audio operating uh, operations mode actually this one uh, this is uh, this if you have driver status issues if you face any driver status issues then you have to enable legacy mode okay audio process files and don't touch anything just leave as it is and differential sound dynamic system this is cool and viper base and speaker optimization then we have uh, auditory system viper clarity and other things as well and we can set some presets if you have some presets you can go with it just like click on new and you guys can uh, provide any name 
as usual if you have then you can select as uh, fill surround fire equalizer so and viper clarity everything is cool okay let me open okay let me play music Hope you guys got a proper idea. This is really really cool and when you are using earphones you will get much better sound quality. So this is the video for today's. Uh, today guys thank you for watching.